Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at a watch that combines the best of the past and present of Officine Panerai sports watches. Now, this watch right here, which is the Panerai Radiomir 3 Days Oro Bianco PAM376, features the classical look of an early 20th century first-run Panerai combat dive watch. Everything from the sandwich, California-style dial with the Romans on the top, Arabics on the bottom, to that famed Radiomir cushion case shape, to the simulated soldered-on wire lugs, here screw-retained and actually far more sturdy than the original, to that classic hide with contrasting stitch strap look. This is the image of those first watches built from 1936 to 1938, the so-called 3646 reference Panerai divers that were built for the Italian Navy as sort of the prototype of the modern combat diver. The watches that have passed into legend, the watches that set the auction records, but the watches which are unfortunately quite unrefined in their construction and detailing. And that's where this watch combines the other half of the best of both worlds. The finish, materials quality, and engineering refinement of the modern Officine Panerai commensurate to its status as one of the premier luxury manufacturers in the current watch market. So let's get straight into what makes this watch the essential Panerai classic reference. What you have here is a replica of the famed California dial. Now this is iconic of Rolex watches from the first half of the 20th century and because the Panerai combat divers were built by Rolex and modified for combat use by Panerai they shared that dial style and that's recreated here with the classic Panerai sandwich construction, the loomed disc underneath a stenciled out top disc that has the indexes, the numerals, and all the essential features of the dial. So you get that phenomenal vintage look with depth between the dial surface and the actual characters of the loom themselves, which are set at a somewhat different uh, depth. It really plays beautifully in person. If you like that sandwich look of a 3D dial, that's evident here. But what's also evident is the simulated aged radium patina. Now, the classic Panerai dive watches used radium. Radiomir was actually a radium-based paint that was used to illuminate the watches at night. And over time, as those watches have become decades old, the exposure of the gamma radiation to the loom on the dial, the gamma from the radium, actually changes the loom to a sort of tannish brown color. And the bad news is it stops glowing. The good news is it looks beautiful. But if you want a watch that A, isn't going to irradiate your wrist, and B, captures that look while still functioning at night, this dirty dial, which is what we call it here at Watch You Want, gives you the best of both worlds. Now, dirty dial is actually an expression coined by our founder and CEO, O.J. Watley. It started with him and it passed into general use among Paneristi. And it really describes just that, the idea of an aged dial simulated with modern technology. And it extends beyond just the, the loom itself because the dial base, the actual plate, is a sort of reddish brown tobacco color because over time, those vintage Panerai watches, they do what's called going tropical. That is, the actual base, because of exposure to UV, oxidation, a little bit of moisture over time, it actually turns the black dial somewhat rusty reddish brown and that's also evident here with a contrasting off-white stitch in the alligator strap you get a beautiful simulated patina it's not aged it's not crumbling it's not cruddy it's just beautiful that's the best of both worlds and in addition i like to talk about some of the detailing which really is quite fine here starting with this twin concentric circle of the minute track joined by cross hatching members to create a little train track that train track or sector minutes track is emblematic of vintage watches and the old first run Panerai divers really articulates the dial with a little bit of detail over what's otherwise a clean easily legible aesthetic effect now beyond the vintage effects, there's also that refinement of a modern watch. And that starts with the hands themselves, which are rose gold. The rose gold hands are a beautiful luxury touch that reminds you this is a luxury watch today. It is not a utilitarian product. Those old vintage Panerai watches look cool, but the finishing isn't up to the standard of something that would be considered on par with the best from Blancpain, the best from the Patek Philippe Nautilus line, for instance. This is finished beautifully, and that cushion case rendered in 18 karat white gold also features a matching pin buckle right here, and everything about this watch just sparkles. The closer you get, the better it holds up, and that continues on the case back. Now, the case back features 
A sapphire display, unlike the vintage watches, so you can actually see the hardware underneath. Now this is Panerai's Caliber 3000. These came out in 2010, effectively as the manual winding version of the 9000 caliber, but all of the same technology is at play, starting with that full balance bridge anchored on both sides for stability and resistance to shock. It's also free sprung so that the index, the, the regulator, so so to speak, can't move if the watch is shocked and change the timing of the watch. This is as rugged as a modern sports watch gets, and in a lot of ways it's even more rugged than the vintage Panerai divers that the military used in Italy. But it's also finished more finely, and it features horological content that's unique. With a three-day power reserve, you can take this one off for a day or two and not worry about it running down. And at the same time, if you're one who likes to travel, uh, this watch has a nice convenient feature. Now it does hack when you pull the uh, you pull the crown, but it also has a hour hand that you can set backwards and forwards safely and independently of the minute hand. So there's a lot of nice thinking going on in terms of making this a usable watch that's up to the standards of a modern luxury watch user and offers a lot of utility to the modern luxury watch user. I want to add that there's one final detail regarding the front end of this watch that really sets it apart. Now, a lot of the Panerai historic models, this is a 2011 special edition, they feature an authentic acrylic or thermoplastic crystal. The thermoplastic crystal is a warmer, traditional effect that, that really plays well in person because there's a different distortion to the way the dial can be viewed through it. It bends light differently. It's a little bit more like a bubble and less like a porthole. And that vintage effect is very endearing to luxury watch collectors. The nice thing about it is it's still quite durable. I mean, a pencil eraser can take most scratches out of it. Nine times out of ten, this is going to be just as durable as Sapphire. And the beauty of it makes it worthwhile and special. And it's the kind of thing that only you really notice until you point it out to your friends. So it's a great conversation piece. Now, this watch does come on an alligator strap. Square scales, brown. It's actually quite thick and sturdy. Now, most Panerai watches, for historical reasons, come on some sort of calf leather. But the presence of alligator, I feel not only sets the look of the Oro Bianco apart, but it also adds durability because alligator straps, it's no secret, age far better than calfskin. So this is going to give you long life, and it's really a phenomenal piece. It's burlier, chunkier, and more distinctive than any calfskin strap. So Panaristi like to swap out the straps, and with these screwed-in lugs here, they're not soldered as in the old style, they're screwed in. You can swap this out for a rubber, for a calfskin strap, stingray, whatever you like, but I think it's a great start. If you were to buy an accessory strap for this watch, I would go alligator right away. This one comes with its standard. Now, this watch is available in outstanding condition with full box and papers from watchyouwant.com. Everything from the limited edition certificate from 2011, the movement stickers, original factory packaging and warranty card is included with this watch, which has impeccable provenance and presents as new. So if you're looking for a vintage look Panerai that includes all of the content of the modern luxury watch manufacturer Panerai has become, you can't do much better than this Panerai Radio Mirror 3 Days Oro Bianco PAM 376, available from watchyouwant.com.